Hey guys, I want to talk to you about specifying a work set. If you don't know what work sets are, I'll be doing a longer video later about work sets. But in the meantime, if you're getting into a project and you don't know them, but you know, for example, if you're working in a firm that has work sets, um, this might be a useful tip for you because you can get in there and specify what you care about. But again, if you are working on workshare projects, this may not apply to you. So, um, but again, hopefully there's, there's something there that you can learn. So we'll go ahead and open up a work shared project. So if I come up here to the open button, I've got this project too. Um, and over here, uh, next to the open button, you can see this little arrow. So if we, if we click on that drop down, we'll get some options here. So it'll say work sets up at the top and then we'll get all edit editable, uh, last viewed specify last view it viewed is generally what it's set at you know default wise it's 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 mostly set there and usually for most people that's fine <clears throat> but you know if you want to specify say you're working on a pretty large model or you're working in a model that you you know don't necessarily care about one item over another you know for example if you are electrical designer you don't care about the mechanical stuff um, and you don't need it for coordination well you can unload that um, before you even open the model and you would do that by specifying your work sets if you have work sets set up um, and you have your work sets broken out where the mechanical has their own work set so when you click on that and then um, click open you'll get this dialog box and then this dialog box um, it just shows you the opening work sets so these are all the user created ones and you can see that checkbox down here at the bottom and then here's essentially where your um, work sets would be so for example if I don't care about shared levels and grids um, then I can come over here and close it and it's not going to open so right now we can see actually both of them are closed and you know say we want work set one because it has you know maybe everything on it then I would open it but you know um, you know for the example of, of um, the model being super large say we have an entire model put on work set one well, we can close that and then still open the model it's just not going to load in all that content and then here we can say you know shared levels and grids say we're just we're getting in there we're moving the grids around because the grids are on this work set we can then open this open the model it's going to open up a lot faster it's going to we're going to be able to get in there and do what we need a lot faster um, and that's essentially what those user created work sets are um, some people use them for vil visibility um, graphics and stuff but you know that's what family project standard and view uh, um, work sets are for so there's a variety of ways to use them but you know essentially when you're opening your model you can not open specific work sets over another um, more or less for performance reasons just so you can get in there and you know be a little bit more efficient when you're working so keep that in mind you can you know you know close or open whatever it is close or no means um, it's uh, closed and then open or yes means it's opened so if I go ahead and press OK it's gonna do its thing and it's only gonna bring in that one work set um, we can take a look at that by going to the manage to our the uh, collaborate tab work sets and we can see here which ones are uh, closed we can see here it's closed and we can also go to visibility graphics if you click VV you can go to your work sets and see that they're closed here as well so again I'll do another video kind of talking a little bit more in depth on work sets we'll get in there jump in the work sets um, dialog box we'll edit some work sets we'll add some elements to different work sets we'll create a new one some new ones and uh, we'll um, mess around with opening um, uh, you know specify so we can specify certain work sets and see how that you know really functions but you know just for a quick tip you know this is how you would go about opening certain 
uh, work sets. It's pretty easy and it, it might be helpful. Again, it depends if you're working, if you're an interior designer and you don't care about some of this other stuff and, and you've noticed that while you've been working, you don't need to coordinate much effort with maybe a different um, discipline or a different, uh, um, however the work sets are broken out, if it's even, you know, just an area of things, then keep that in mind and just don't load those elements and just specify them. So hopefully that helps. Thanks a lot for watching. Comment, share, like, um, subscribe, and thanks.